Electrically powered vehicles may seem like a 21st century phenomenon, but they were actually first invented in the 1880s. During that time, they were very popular until combustion engine vehicles became the new normal. Today, these electrically powered alternative fuel vehicles are making a comeback. This manufacturer produces a wide range of electric boats. Thanks to powerful batteries, some of these vehicles can travel over 35 miles per hour. Craftspeople apply a gel coat skin to a mold using a product derived from vinyl. Then they layer on a dry fiberglass fabric and vacuum bag the entire assembly. The vacuum suction draws in liquid resin, infusing the material. A craftsman marks a dry spot as a test point to monitor and ensure complete saturation. The infusion process takes about two hours. Once complete, the assembly will cure for four to six hours, depending on the general humidity and temperature levels. Once cured, the assembly is removed from the mold. Despite the structure's light weight, this deck is incredibly strong, rigid, and durable. The fiberglass decks and hulls make up the boat's shells. A craftswoman applies a high-strength marine glue to a recessed area of the deck. She installs an anti-skid deck insertion. This material is a composite designed to resemble wood. Unlike real wood, this composite material will last the lifetime of the boat and won't require any additional maintenance. The craftswoman uses a roller to apply pressure evenly across the entire decking surface. This step will eliminate any unwanted air pockets. Next, a mirror image decking section is applied to the other side. A specialist installs the electrical wiring harness. To avoid corrosion, marine grade wiring is stored in a sealed environment under the deck. Since the decking is lightweight, it only takes two people to lift and install it on the hull. The lip of the deck fits snugly into place. The most powerful boat models require lithium ion batteries. These boats are built with military grade foam. The density of the foam adds structure, causing the boat to become unsinkable. Using a hoist, Technicians install the deck of a large, powerful electric boat. The deck lift slides over the top of the hull. Depending on the boat model, the manufacturer uses either lithium ion or lead acid batteries as a power source. A specialist installs a series of marine grade DC-31 lead acid batteries. At six volts, 225 amps, they're similar to batteries used in cars. By contrast, the 7.7 kilowatt lithium ion batteries pack a charge of 48 volts. The batteries are installed under the seats. To create a watertight seal between the deck to the hull, a craftsman installs a rubber bumper around the perimeter of the boat. Holes have been pre-drilled to avoid cracking when installation is complete. This manufacturer sources their motors from an outside electric motor company, which also builds motors for cars. The fin, made of aluminum encased in marine grade rubber, is installed on the bottom of the motor. The propeller attaches to the motor with a zinc nut. Two circuit boards located on board will send instructions to the motor. A waterproof cover is placed on top of the circuit boards for added protection. Lock nuts with nylon washers will prevent unnecessary vibrations while the motor is on. With the steering cables installed, the entire unit pivots right and left, allowing the pilot on deck to steer. The powerful motor is equivalent to a 10 horsepower combustion engine. And because it sits in the water, it stays cool and quiet. Finally, a craftswoman places the boat's sun canopy over the framework. This will allow customers to add solar panels for charging the boat. 
Also, a customer can choose the colors for both their canopies and upholstery. There's no denying that electric boats are the future of fun on the water. 